Goku vs. Belmod Goku received God of Destruction training from Vados and Beerus. Beerus had the idea of making Goku know the power of a God of Destruction so that he would understand his true ideals so that in the future in the Celestial War, Angel Zyros would not be able to use the technique of the Kiss of Death on Goku as it was done last time. That way, Goku's training would make him control his emotions and not get caught up against the enemy in the heavenly battle. Makarita was enchanted by the Celestial Saiyan after seeing him showing his power of destruction and defeating Toppo. But at that moment, Belmod, the official god of destruction of Universe 11, gets angry and says, If you want god of destruction training, you can't just fight a god of destruction apprentice. You will fight the true destroyer. Vados observes and says, Looks like Universe 11's God of Destruction got mad. Sister, did you notice? Makarita starts to smile and says, Come on, Belmond, show him what you're capable of, and show him that you don't need to be traded. Beerus laughs and says, I really can't understand the relationship between these two. He even sweats very weirdly, an angel and a god of destruction. We will see what will happen. Goku gets excited and watches. Goku says, Chiren, I'm sure you've gotten stronger since our last battle. You sure are saving that for the Celestial War, aren't you? I hope so. I confess that after this is all over, I would really be very happy to fight you, Jiren. Jiren has a serious expression on his face until Jiren watches and smiles but doesn't say anything. Moments earlier in preparation for the battle, Goku was resting. Makarita appears and says, I would love for you to be our god of destruction, but are you capable of that? Are you that powerful? Could he defeat Belmod? Bardos appears and says, I think you better stay calm little sister. Leave Son Goku to me. I'm already dealing with it. Makarita observes and says, What is it, sister? This is a little weird. I might even say, you're jealous. Bardo starts to get all red and says, It's not that. It's because me and Goku in another timeline had an affair. Makarita smiles and says, What? A Saiyan and an angel? Goku gets embarrassed and says, Let's forget about it and let's train. Belmod rages even more. It seemed that Belmod had feelings for Makarita. Belmod says, I don't know what this Saiyan is up to, but I'm going to finish him off here and now. Universe 18 In Universe 18, the unknown voice of the angel again appears and says, Well, I'll leave you here, Ziel. Since the great priest communique went directly to you, who were getting involved in battle, there are still eight days left for the Celestial War, but from what I am perceiving, another presence is appearing around here. Maybe if I am going to battle Whis, it's a little more complicated since you can negate the angel's celestial magic. Good thing I possess the power of destruction as well. I'm going to pay a visit to my dear brother. Wait for me. The Celestial Cube is created within Universe 18. The Angel of Universe 18 starts to move. Alright partner, why don't you whack that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any videos and stay well connected to our entire universe of Z Warriors. Let's get back to the point. Goku vs Belmod. The battle begins. Makarita, Beerus, Jiren and Toppo start to watch. Belmod starts running in front of Goku. Goku was in his base form stage. Goku starts exchanging several punches with Belmod. At that moment, Toppo watches and wonders why Goku isn't activating his transformations. Beerus responds. He knows that none of these transformations will work on Belmod, as Belmod can also control the level of power he is using. This battle is a battle that works between gods, or it will be used in the Hakai form, or the form of Ultra Instinct will be used. 
they will be the only transformations that manage to make a difference in a fight. So that's why we need to understand what will really happen. What is Belmont up to? Belmont starts drawing cards from his hand and says, Son Goku, I believe that you must have become much more powerful and you must imagine that I am a god of destruction. I can do whatever I want, but pay close attention and that will make things change in a totally different way because you've never fought against beings that possess great magical power. Have you ever wondered why Zenosama is considered the most powerful of all? He can erase a universe anytime he wants, but there are still other beings who can cancel his magic. Beings like me. Goku is impressed, Vado says. Looks like Universe 11's God of Destruction wants to fight seriously. He himself is using his cards. Interesting. Vado starts to laugh. Margarita is smiling and says, Belmont, show your true power. Goku says, What's this guy doing? His way of fighting is totally different from Mr. Beerus's way. Why is that? At that moment, Beerus says, But in order to bring balance, we need to make very difficult decisions, Goku. Belmont's letters say it all. Not always what is correct is what happens before the eyes of mortals. Just like the Joker. The Joker is always having a laugh, but he's never happy, always looking for a means of attention. It's like much of humanity. The king we know they have been on top next to the queen. Zenosama does not fall before anyone. Can you understand how universal decisions start to happen? Goku begins to have several flashbacks, remembering the destruction of the planet of the Saiyans. Goku says, Is he saying that some things really should happen? Because if not, worse things would occur. Belmod says, I have five cards here. Of these cards, the king is not below and fears no one. If I choose a card in my favor, my powers will surpass even the powers of the most powerful beings in this universe. Otherwise, I could become the weakest being. This is the level of magic power in a fight. I can become the weakest being and die, or I can become the most destructive being in the universe. What do you think of that, son Goku? Goku couldn't believe what he was seeing. Belmont draws a card from his hand, the King card. Beerus says, It looks like this will be the end of Goku then. Margarita observes and speaks. The King's card causes the Supreme Being to pass the powers to Belmont. Perhaps Belmont is between the most powerful God of Destruction in existence and the weakest God of Destruction. Belmont's powers begin to increase and Goku, with the power of a God of Destruction, begins to receive several blows from the God of Destruction of Universe 11. Goku says, What's happening? This guy is definitely not a human. Those powers really could end me at any moment. What is he up to? Damn, that couldn't happen. Goku begins to receive several blows and can no longer bear to move. The power that Goku learned in the Hall of Time as it was brought to a power of a god didn't match this energy either. Belmont says, Margarita, I don't think you had anything to worry about. You saw this guy was nothing. Vados looks at Goku and says, Mr. Goku, remember the fight against Zaiko. Remember the fight against all the other beings you had. Is this how in a celestial war you want to protect everyone? Pay close attention. Many things will still be changed. Can you understand, Mr. Goku? Believe what I am saying. You have much greater potential to win. Trust me. Come with me. Do what only needs to be done. So if your Ultra Instinct power isn't working out, remember that your training is now for a God of Destruction. Goku begins to remember all the battles he had. Goku starts to remember Vegeta and says, Vegeta's power works like this. The more hits he takes, the more powerful he gets. If this guy became the most powerful in the universe, I just need to get over it. I will finish you now. 
Goku manages to activate the power of Ultra Ego combined with Ultra Instinct. Belmont is surprised by the great energy that was being shown. A big Hakai fist is hurled at Goku. His energy grows more and more. Belmont says, What? Did this guy get even stronger? Damn it, I disabled the power of my king card. I thought he couldn't get up anymore. Belmont receives Goku's Hakai fist and is thrown away. Goku says, It seems that this power is really incredible. Thank you, Madam Bardos. Belmont flung away and says, Looks like I let my guard down. Very good. You have passed training, son Goku. Makarita hugs Goku and says, I said that you could be the god of destruction of this universe. At that moment, a barrier is created within the planet of destruction of Universe 11. Belmont says, What? Are we stuck here? Goku speaks, What's up? Makarita and Vados make a serious face and say, I know this energy. It's him, Cypher. Beerus and Belmont are surprised. Goku questions himself. Who is this Cypher? Vado says, Cypher is our brother, the only angel considered as the angel of destruction of Universe 18. He manages to cause a lot of trouble in all universes and now we feel his energy light years in the set universe in Universe 6. Looks like he's going after Gon and Whis. That's why someone is holding here. Goku says, That's not possible. To be continued. Alright my partner, what do you believe and what do you think about all of this? A great battle is being waged. Goku managed to master the powers of a god of destruction. Goku's energy is increasing more and more. Regardless of what it is, it's more than important that you share your thoughts in the comments below so that we can get into a crazy debate. Whack that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any videos. That's all there is to it. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.